Hello everybody, I am just Lance and I would like to thank you all for joining me for another video. Um, tonight, this video, or, or in this video, as the title says, The Beard Meets the Beast. Anyhow, um, I grew this not quite a month ago uh, for my girlfriend. I said in a prior video that I, her and I, when we dated before, I had a goatee. I remembered I didn't grow it in until actually her and I broke up. Um, but pretty much I went for years from my early 20s until early 2015 with a goatee and I shaved it off and I mean I've never been able to grow a full face beard because on the cheeks when the hair got too thick it just it got very it start aching and getting very uncomfortable but a goatee never bothered me that is until now I've had this thing less than a month I was going to leave it on through the holidays but it is driving me absolutely back crap crazy so it's coming off and it's coming off tonight and I wanted to go ahead and let you all join in on the fun anyways so let's take a look at what gear we're going to use um, once again is I'm going to be using the Maggert's synthetic brush which I got from um, Dennis um, absolutely dug on this brush last time I used it um, that was using Parasso Tonight I'm using a cream, so we'll see how it does with a cream. The razor is this, my beast, the 1930s Gem Micromatic Open Comb. Um, in case you're not familiar with this razor, it is a twist open. Do -do, do -do, do -do, do -do, do -do. Uh, make sure my blade's still on good. But this razor, you basically open it up, drop the blade, put the corners behind these little lugs, drop the blade flat, and just lock it down. The blade is a brand new Gem PTFE um, blade, which is made by Persona. The cream I'm going to be using is going to be... Tobbs Sandalwood, which I also received from Dennis. Um, the aftershave is going to be a vintage, and you'll see what that is when I reach that point. Anyhow, so let's go ahead and let's get busy on the shave. Let my face, whoops, oh, let me grab my brush. One second. I need to grab a washcloth, which I like to keep close by. So just in case. Pardon my reach. Good. Anyways, so let's go ahead. Oh, and I will be lathering the cream in my Tobbs or Crown King scuttle. Let me dump it out real quick and refill it with fresh hot water. I, while I was in the shower, I went ahead and I filled the inner chamber here, the bottom chamber, with hot water, and then filled the lather chamber with hot water. So let's go ahead, let's refill that. Even though it's kind of a warm night, I figured that any extra warmth for the cream would be good. After all, I'm taking off nearly a month of growth. So I'm just going to unscrew the tops lid and just scoop some out. Ooh, that's way too much. But screw it. I'm a head shaver. 
Yeah, it's, <laughs> I put enough for it. Yeah, okay. Next time I'll remember my little spoon I got. Waste one, one nut. We got the sandalwood scent of this here. Um, tops is just really, really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead get my brush, brush wet. It being a synthetic and all. You ain't got a soap. Shake out the excess. Mmm. Hmm. Scent wise, I like it. Give it a few pumps. Yeah, Douglas Smythe really made a nice go when he had these ones designed. A little more water. I have heard pretty good stuff about this here, Tobbs. Sides here. There. I think that'll be enough. And since I already wet my face, oh yeah, it feels really good. Hmm. I like that scent. Oh man, that's a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, so to speak. Lather up here on the handle. Make it just a little slick. That's a good cream right there. Lathers up easy. I almost went with putting a little bit of that cooling for appreciate but I got thinking and I was like no I don't want to do that I want to enjoy this experience oh man that's a nice cream pardon me got a little bit of Cream in my nostril. Oh, man. So, let's see how the beast does. And I mean, my brother when he first with the growth. Oh yeah. 
razors just skimming right along. When my brother, oh nice. When my brother first saw this razor, he said, What's that for shearing a sheep? Um, I've offered to let him try it. And he's like, oh, I don't know about that one. Um, yeah, he's a little leery about it. Um, I think it's the whole paint scraper blade thing. Or paint scraper looking blade thing that has him thrown off. Anyway, that made very short and fast work of two days growth. So let's go ahead and let's go after the mustache and goatee. Oh yeah. Just right through it. Right through it. No problem. Nothing. Oh yeah. Blade's not skipping. I'm getting whiskers in my mouth though. Mm. Blade is not skipping. Or anything. Um, yeah, that's. I'm going to open this gym a little. After that cap. I've never taken that much growth off at one time without my beard and mustache trimmer knocking it down first. So, in one second, I got hairs in my mouth. Okay. Hmm. Yep, that was, that was nice. That was lovely. But, uh, you know. Yeah, Mike Mag just mowed right through the, the goatee and mustache. Um, I'm impressed. <laughs> well, that kind of, I am flat out impressed. Um, it's a good razor. So if you're ever gonna knock down three, four weeks worth of growth, or a couple weeks, whatever, you got a micromatic open comb. It'll, it'll get her done. It will definitely get her done. Um, get her done is catchphrase copywritten by Larry the Cable Guy. All rights and royalties and etc. go to him. Cross the growth. I hope I didn't just screw myself, I'd hate to have the way the cable guy sat there coming at me going, Hey! Where's my royalties, dude? Gonna go up on the neck. Which is against the grain here in the middle and across the grain on the sides. But yeah, it's 
you know, this 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 razor one my girlfriend saw the results after I used it for the very first time, which I just, you know, about three, four days worth of growth. Maybe maybe close to a week. Um oh, oh what the hell am I doing? Um she was like, Wow, no irritation. I'm like, yeah, it's a good, good razor. So, this is one I like to pull out when I have uh, heavy duty cutting, cutting to do. But you just saw how effective it is. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to use. Um, Um, a whole lot of different gem style SC blades. Um, we tried the gem blue stars. Now these. Um, so I had a chance to. Try the treats and all that, but uh -uh. that little spot's always a butt pain for me. Right? Still getting whiskers in my mouth, damn it. So here we go. Third pass. I'm just going to paint on here. Yeah, yeah. Watch that. Paul H video. Where he shaves like his dad. And uh, you know, I didn't grow up with my father in the home. The only thing I know about as far as him, I mean we're we're on pretty decent terms now. Um, the only thing I really knew of my father was I had shown him a uh, when it comes to him shaving back in the old days. Uh, was I showed him a gem I have, um, and he was like, oh, that's a gem, I used to shave with one of those. I asked him if he still had it, and he was like, no, I lost that, those, I lost any razors I had years ago, I was like, ah, damn, but, so, but, you know, I uh, like a lot of guys I think ended up figuring it out for myself. Um, I, mean, I had older brothers that gave me, well, kind of gave me pointers. Uh, when I start shaving at the tender age of 12. Uh, yeah, apparently my junior high only allowed facial hair on students for cultural and religious reasons. Um, and we had, I kid you not, they were They were Puerto Rican guys. Their family immigrated from Puerto Rico. They came over to Bakersfield from Puerto Rico. And they were they were pretty cool guys. I didn't talk to them much, but I did from time to time. But they had the biggest 
bushiest mustaches I, that I've ever seen other than um, and you know if, if you are Puerto Rican please don't take this to offense but it reminded me their their mustaches reminded me of the mustache of the guy on Chico and the Man um, that it was just really they had really really thick thick mustaches and uh at first, when I saw them, I actually thought that they were teachers and, um, and, uh, when my teacher told me, he said, Lance, um, you can't come to school tomorrow. What? What do you mean I can't come to school tomorrow? He thought, well, you can. However, if you do not shave, You can't come back. And I was like, well, what about the so-and-so brothers? No. Uh, all he said was, it's cultural. I was like, huh? Okay. So I went home and told my mom, and she was like, what do you mean you got to shave? And I gave her a note, and she was like, oh, okay. And she went out and got me a, um, a freaking, I went in the bathroom and got me, grabbed me a can of shaving cream and gave me one of those blue Bix um, disposables. Um, she said, this one of your brother's disposables. It's brand new. Be careful. It's sharp. Um. Go ahead and, and shave with this. I'm going, how? And she's all, I, I'm, I don't know how you shave. I mean, uh, ask your brothers. I asked them, and they were just a very shallow well of knowledge. And I was like, oh, so I had to figure it out on my own. Um, all that my oldest brother did was laugh at me when he saw the insane amount of shaving cream I put on my face. Was, you know, and he's like, um, how much did you use? I'm like, I don't know. But yeah, so uh, I had to kind of figure shaving out for myself. But anyways, that's the, the um, okay, let's see, mm, got a little bit of pickups here and got a little bit on the lips, on the upper lip. Um, hang on. So let's go ahead and. This, I uh, like this cream, um, but you know, it's, a, it's a, I mean, the scent's just great, but the, um, at the end of the day, it's a cream that doesn't have, for me, that residual slickness like a good soap does. Anyways, um, so I'm going to go ahead and rinse off here, and when I come back,
I'll go ahead and do the post. See you in a minute. Hey everybody. Anyways, um, got a little irritation down here, but my neck was already slightly irritated to begin with. Um, from what, I'm not sure, but it was slightly irritated. Um, but all in all, yeah, pretty, pretty smooth shape. Anyways, um, of course my face could be bright red and I wouldn't know it. So anyways, let's go ahead and let's do the post shave. Get my face stamped for the alum. Razor Rock alum, or alum, however you wish to say it. Oh yeah, that's... Hmm, I thought it was really going to light me up on the upper lip. Oh yeah, it's got some bite down there. Um, but, you know, like I've said before, <laughs> no matter how hard I try, it always gets me. No matter how gentle a touch I use, it always gets me. But let that set for a few minutes. Few. Um, but yeah, I really, really like the sandalwood uh, shaving cream. Um, it's definitely a winner. I can see why so many people enjoy it. Um, my only knock, which is the same knock I have for all shaving creams, and that is the residual slickness. It's just not there like it is in a good quality shaving soap. But that ain't going to stop me from using it and that ain't going to stop me from using creams. Anyways, I'll be, I'm going to rinse my face and I'll be right back. Pat dry. Nice thing about when you get irritation, if you have a good post shave routine, then that clears it up. Yeah, the that that tops it just I mean it lathered up really really quick. I was really surprised. Um we lathered up very easy, really quick. Um I liked it. I like it a lot. Great smell. Um the scent on it is just absolutely Correct. Wonderful. Um, like I believe I said in the unboxing video, though, I do prefer the, the Captain's Choice sandalwood a little more, but um, it ain't going to keep me from buying the tobs. I will definitely buy more tobs in the future. I really want to try their German Street. Anyways. Sample of Captain's Choice Sandalwood Aftershave Balm. Mm. The, the Sandalwood Balm doesn't smell as good as the cream as the soap, but yeah, it's 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 nice. I mean I'm talking it's nice enough to go ahead and purchase Pardon me, I had to close that down. It's nice enough to buy the whole set. The soap, the cream, and the aftershave. So, I might go ahead and count some pennies and see. Anyways, so, uh, yeah, this, this Captain's Choice Aftershave Balm just feels really, really nice on the face. I really, really, really like it. Ah. Uh, and I said I was going to be using a vintage aftershave. This, this choice was kind of inspired a little bit by Gil over there on second kind of cool. Uh-oh, hang on. There we go. Let me rinse it off. Like I said, it was inspired by Gil over there on Second Kind of Cool because um, 
If you haven't checked out his channel, um, pretty good channel. He's got some good stuff. Um, but uh, he went ahead and, and he was using a soap that was given to him at the 4th Annual, I believe, Northeastern Butt Shavers Meetup up in Connecticut, I believe it was. Um, he was given a soap by a gentleman. I can't, I, I can't remember the name of the soap, but it was the gentleman's take on Old Spice. And, um, because Gil really likes Old Spice, and he happened to find a uh, bottle of Avon, um, what they called their special spice or something like that. I can't remember what it was. But the actual um, bottle looked like a fire bell. And since Gil's a volunteer fireman, he just had to get it. So I have one vintage um, Avon aftershave. It's this one. Now I do have the trailer. The trailer is filled with talc. Um, I have no idea how old this is. But um, I was watching an episode of I'd Lather Be Shaving and Douglas with Douglas Smythe and Matt Pisarsic and he was saying that, Douglas was saying that, um, you know, 70s and earlier, that sometimes talcum powder was cross-contaminated with asbestos. So I'm like, yeah, I don't know how old it is. I don't want to take that risk. So, but... Uh, I really can't describe the scent, but uh, it's really good. Um, there's no sticker on here. There might be on the trailer. I'll have my girl. Well, there was a sticker, but it's gone. Um, we actually, my ex-girlfriend, who I'm still friends with, ended up giving us some stuff because we helped her move. She's the one we were helping move when I thought, ooh, yeah, had the back of a U-Haul pickup, the uh, back of a U-Haul truck and jacked up my knee and leg. Mm. But, uh, she gave us some stuff and she had a few. I'm going to do a second, second shot of that. She had a couple of Avon decanters. One was like a Porsche, I believe, or a Camaro or something. I can't remember. Um, and she gave us for our son. And she gave us that, that truck. She's like, yeah, you can put this in your son's room. But I got to check it out. And it's like it had aftershave in it, which smells good. A musky scent it's musky I will definitely say that um, which I like musk anyways um, I don't know I always have liked musky scents um, maybe that's a sign that you're getting old mm, that smells good but yeah so I'm like well I'm gonna use I'll use that and when it's empty it'll go in my son's room I just got to take and pop the little cap off of the the trailer part and dump and rinse out the trailer because if there's talc in there, I don't want my son getting hold of it and going, eh, making a mess. And I especially don't want him getting hold of it if it's cross-contaminated with asbestos. So I'll run that risk of catching it um, as I dump it. But anyways, that's the shave. That's the post shave. Anyways, let's take a look at what it is. Tonight, the beard met the beast, and the beast was the gem Micromatic Open Comb. It says a twist open razor, I believe it's from the 30s. Um, the blade was a gem PTFE coated blade made by Persona. The brush is a Maggert's 24mm synthetic brush in a marble handle with a maple leaf on top. I don't know what they call that brush. They call it marble or something like that. The soap was Taylor Vogue Bond Street Sandalwood Shaving Cream. 
I gotta get in there and smell that, guys. Ah, beautiful scent. Beautiful, beautiful scent. Um, I got this courtesy of a pit from Dennis. Thank you, Dennis, very much. I really liked it. I really enjoyed it. It's a wonderful cream. I can see why you say that it's one of your favorite products in your den. Um, it now is one of mine. Um, as far as creams go, that is definitely one of the best creams I've used. Um, I met, whipped up my lather in my Crown King White Shaving Scuttle. The post shave was, hang on guys, warm water rinse followed by cold. I used there's no kidding, uh, Dollar General Witch Hazel. The aftershave balm was Captain's Choice Sandalwood, which is a sample. Beautiful, beautiful scent. Beautiful scent on the bomb. Um, the 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 soap itself is better, but the bomb is nice. And the aftershave was old vintage. Still quite a bit in there. Old vintage Avon. Um, have no idea what the name of this one is, um, but it's a big rig. It's cool. Um, anyways. So yeah, that's the shave. I hope you all have enjoyed it. Um, have some, have a great day, great night, great shaves, and I will see you all on the flip side of the blade. Bye bye now.